In 1977, the Inuit Circumpolar Council, or ICC as it's known, was founded by the late Eben Hobson of Ukhavik, Alaska, to unite Inuit from across Canada, Greenland, Alaska, and Chukotka in Russia. Today, ICC represents 180,000 Inuit. It is one of the most respected international indigenous organizations and a trusted, compelling voice for Inuit on Arctic global issues. Inuit health and well-being is at the core of ICC's priorities and vision. Aspects of health are woven into all of ICC's activities and advocacy. It's important to bring uh, the Inuit health issues to the international stage because as Inuit we live in uh, four different countries and despite the fact that we are in different health uh, systems, we all know that we have a lot in common uh, with health and wellness concerns, um, concerns and challenges in mental health uh, TB and other infectious diseases um, and we have uh, experienced these uh, more particularly very recently with the COVID pandemic. ICC has adopted declarations on key issues. In 2009, Circumpolo Declaration on Sovereignty in the Arctic underscored healthy Arctic communities as an essential part of sovereignty. The 2011 Circumpolar Inuit Declaration on Resource Development Principles in Inuit Nunat also highlighted healthy communities in a healthy environment. In 2018, ICC's Ukhavik Declaration not only dedicated a section to health and wellness, but also emphasized health throughout the entire document, pointing to the interconnected nature of health and well-being to all parts of ICC's mandate. Physical and mental health cannot be addressed separately. The health of communities, families, and individuals cannot be addressed separately. Nor can the health and well-being of people be treated as separate from the health of the natural environment, of the plants and animals, the ocean and ice. Health and well-being are intricately tied to our culture and language. Income distribution, early childhood development, housing, personal safety, education, food security, and the availability of health services. Our rights to health and well-being must also be recognized and respected. The UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples outlines the rights of Indigenous Peoples to traditional medicines, food and clean water, and access to health services without discrimination, as well as the equal rights to the enjoyment of the highest attainable standards of physical and mental health, healthy lands, wildlife, community, families, and individuals are vital to our way of life and part of our right to thrive in our circumpolar homelands. However, across Inuit Nunat, Inuit face significant health disparities. Physical and mental health services are inadequate or don't exist at all, especially in the case of mental health, overcrowded housing, food insecurity, inadequate access to health care, these all make it difficult for Inuit to meet basic needs, which increases poor health outcomes. For example, overcrowding is a contributing factor to tuberculosis. The rate of TB among Canadian Inuit is 300 times the rate in the rest of Canada. 
This statistic reflects the situation for Inuit in all circumpolar regions and also makes Inuit more vulnerable to COVID-19. The ongoing mental health crisis facing Inuit of all ages today is unacceptable by any world standard. The elevated rate of suicide among Inuit is an urgent challenge. Suicide rates across Inuit Nunangat in Canada are 5 to 25 times higher than the national average. We know that solutions must build upon the knowledge and strengths found within our communities and be rooted in our holistic and interconnected understanding of health. Inuit have been regaining control and bringing about the changes needed to strengthen our health and well-being. ICC has contributed to this effort in many ways over the past 40 years by working to advance Inuit health issues at the international level. The Inuit Circumpolar Council, established in 1977, is active at the United Nations, the International Labor Organization, the OAS, a wide range of international fora on behalf of our people. Our focus on Inuit health has sparked global action in many ways over the past decades. We have brought international attention to Inuit health issues. by raising the alarm about high levels of contaminants found in the Arctic ecosystem, including in some Inuit. ICC played a significant role in the creation of global agreements to highlight how Inuit health is affected by contaminants in the Arctic, and to achieve better and more effective regulations. Some contaminant levels are now declining in the Arctic, but new contaminants continue to be introduced. Plastic pollution is a new added threat. For example, microplastics are being found in the guts of the animals we hunt and eat. Under the Arctic Council Sustainable Development Working Group, ICC has worked with other states and indigenous groups to lead very successful circumpolar work on suicide prevention and mental wellness. For example, between 2018 and 2019, Project Creates used digital storytelling to produce over three dozen videos made by Arctic Indigenous youth to showcase their experiences and thoughts on dealing with mental wellness in suicide prevention. Project Creates was a digital storytelling um, project under the SDWG and it brought together indigenous youth from across the Arctic. So there were Sami youth, Inuit youth, Athabaskan, Gwich'in youth. Opportunities that bring indigenous youth together from across the circumpolar world hold incredible value and benefit. One of the things growing up that I've learned is that storytelling is something that uh, is universal. So no matter what language you're from, as long as it's translated, you'll be able to understand the story and the message behind the story. Bringing the focus to youth is especially crucial considering the young Inuit population. 33% of Inuit in Canada are under the age of 15. That's double the national average. The other ICC countries have similar statistics. Local to Global, a four-year project building on Project Creates, continues the use of digital storytelling along with the added components of health research and knowledge exchange. Knowledge exchange and bringing people together are important parts of ICC's work in advancing Inuit health issues at the international level. The Circumpolar Inuit Health Steering Committee, formed in 2008, is another example of how we do this. It is the advisory body for ICC on issues related to Inuit health. The committee provides guidance and recommendations related to circumpolar Inuit health and well-being issues and initiatives. It tracks emerging trends and wise practices. The committee has representatives from each ICC country and meets several times a year. ICC also brings together Inuit to discuss important issues throughout summits. In 2009, we held an Inuit Health Summit that brought together Inuit health experts from all four ICC countries. We discussed health concerns and priorities in the various regions, learned from one another about wise practices, 
and reported recommendations to guide ICC's work. Just over a decade later, we will host a Circumpolar Inuit Summit on Health and Well-Being. This summit will focus on Inuit youth and understanding how youth connect with culture to enhance their mental health and well-being. Our vision for the 2021 uh, ICC Health Summit that will be held in Kuchvak is to uh, gather together to share uh, and, and exchange and uh, all, our, all our experiences and our concerns um, amongst the international Inuit. And um, also to ensure that the youth are involved. Uh, we, we very much want the youth to be involved, especially in the discussions uh, around mental health. In the 21st century, there's a multitude of unique and innovative ways that Inuit are using to express their identity and to be Inuk. Every Inuk has value as ICC Chair Daly Sambo Duro emphasized in her acceptance speech at the General Assembly. From my point of view, the Inuit Circumpolar Council as an international non-governmental organization of Inuit, every Inuk has a place. Every Anuk matters, and every Anuk is the ICC. Thank <laughs> you.